cancer is nothing but just rapid division or proliferation of cells or better defined as uncontrolled abnormal and not required proliferation of cells here one cell just continuously divides and forms many cell which may or may not be similar to the parent cell and hence this is called cancer or neoplasm and the process is called as neoplasia human body works on the principle of genes or genetics there are some normal genes which function normally and there are obviously some abnormal genes which of course function abnormally and may cause cancer but on the other hand if normal genes are expressed abnormally or they show abnormal expression they may lead to cancer or neoplasia now what happens in these normal cells which causes such abnormal expression this is a topic of concern they may convert into abnormal genes during division or maybe during inheritance or another most common method by which these normal genes may convert into abnormal genes is mutation what is this mutation mutation is a sudden inheritable change which may be caused due to a varying number of factors uh, another lecture could be prepared on the mutation but for now remember that mutation is sudden change which may be inherited for example if one change has occurred in a parent for it to be called mutation it must necessarily be passed on to the offspring or to the further generations that is called mutation so mutation is sudden inheritable change so normal cells or normal genes undergo mutation and are called mutated genes and such cells are obviously called mutated cells these mutated cells may undergo such change which may cause them to divide rapidly and such process is called clonal expansion clonal means similar type of cells are formed clones of the cells are formed and exp at an expanding rate which ultimately leads to tumor what in the lame term is known as cancer and in biological term it is known as neoplasia now the factors which lead to mutation of these normal genes or cells are varying and are commonly known as carcinogens because these are the factors which cause the mutation and lead to the conversion of normal genes into mutated genes or cancer genes therefore known as carcinogens these are broadly divided into three types first is the chemical carcinogens second is the radiological radiological because of gamma rays x rays or uv rays and third are the viral carcinogens these carcinogens lead to the mutation of normal genes which in turn result in the formation of such such mutated genes which are having the property of rapid division which ultimately lead to tumor talking about genes there are four major types of genes which when affected may lead to cancer and these are known as genetic regulators first among them are the proto oncogenes next anti oncogenes third are apoptosis or apoptosis regulating genes and last are the most important dna repair gene 
any mutation or any change during inheritance or cell division of a cell which leads to change in these genes proto oncogenes anti oncogenes or apoptosis regulating genes or dna repair genes may lead to cancer because of their inability to function normally how does this genes are affected and what do they cause let's see first is the proto oncogenes as the name suggests proto here means original and onco means dividing so these are the originally dividing genes which are physiologically functional and cause physiological division and up to a normal rate and within normal limits when these genes are affected by any of the causes concerned let us suppose mutation these proto onco genes are converted into onco genes which now means onco means division which is not original or not physiological now this division is uncontrolled or rapid and not required which may lead to tumor formation or cancer talking about the genetics of the onco genes onco genes as compared to the proto onco genes are dominant over them now what does this mean consider proto onco genes are represented as p o and onco genes are represented as o now in a allele where combination is p o and o this o gene would be or onco gene would be expressed because according to mendelian genetics one which is dominant is expressed so in a combination of genes p o and o in an allele the phenotype would be cancer because o or onco genes are always dominant over the proto onco genes now the second type of genes which are affected and cause cancer are anti onco genes now what does this mean is anti means against onco gene means division so these are against the division of the cell and physiologically what do they do that they suppress the growth and now this is the very important phenomena of the anti onco genes physiologically what do we need is that when proto onco genes are undergoing division they need to be controlled by some regulatory phenomena which is acting opposite to them and that phenomena or that action is laid out by the anti onco genes because they are against the division so their expression may lead to suppression of the growth which is important and keeps a check on the non required growth and hence the cancers now when they undergo when anti onco genes undergo mutation or rather mutated inactivation mutation may also cause inactivation so they are unable to keep a check on the growth and therefore they are unable to suppress the growth hence they assist the proto onco genes and may lead to continuous division that is they lead to progression of the growth which is unchecked and obviously leads to a tumor mass or cancer third type of genes which are affected are the apoptosis or apoptosis regulating gene firstly what is apoptosis apoptosis is program cell death or pre decided suicide of the cell programmed cell death or pre decided suicide of the cell now if cell is going undergoing any injury or if cell 
himself recognizes or realizes that he is not able to function normally there is no need for him to survive so the cell undergoes programmed cell death itself on its own that is called apoptosis now considering apoptosis there are two types of genes first are the anti apoptotic genes and another are the pro apoptotic genes now as the name suggests again anti apoptotic means against the apoptosis which is against the cell death so these cells promote cell division again anti means against apoptosis means cell death so these are against the cell death so if cell doesn't die it would continuously divide and may lead to increased cell division which leads to cancer and here pro apoptotic genes these are the initiators of the cell death or program cell death if a cell is injured and not able to function physiologically these genes force him to undergo suicide or cell death so these cells reduce the cell number and therefore keep a check on the normal functioning of the cells now some common anti apoptotic genes are bcl2 bclx uh, mcl1 etc and some pro apoptotic genes are bad 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 bac back bax back etc now what is the change that happens in the anti apoptotic and pro apoptotic genes which may cause cancer which is very obvious uh, up regulation of the anti apoptotic genes due to mutation and down regulation of the pro apoptotic genes again due to mutation or any other factors may lead to the over activity of the anti apoptotic genes and the lower activity of the pro apoptotic genes which would not keep a check on number of cells and therefore the number of cells would continuously increase and this is what happens with the apoptosis regulating genes briefing it anti apoptotic genes become over active and pro apoptotic genes become less active maybe due to mutation or any other factor such as inheritance or during cell division or error in cell division they lead to uncontrolled cell growth which is not required and hence cancer now the last and most important ones are the dna repair genes what do they actually do is if suppose proton co genes undergo had undergone mutation and when proton co gene is injured dna repair gene activates itself and tries to repair the proton co gene and if dna repair gene is unable to repair the proton co gene injured proton co gene it just kills the cell and same happens when anti onco genes are disturbed or injured and apoptosis regulating genes are injured so it just keeps a check over all the three that is proto onco genes anti onco genes and apoptosis regulating genes now think of what will happen if dna repair genes are injured all the proto onco genes anti onco genes and apoptosis regulating genes would go unchecked and any injury to them would not be repaired by the dna repair gene and therefore the genome would remain injured and continuously produce the effects of the mutated proto onco gene mutated anti onco genes and mutated apoptosis regulating gene therefore the dna repair genes are the most important genes and must remain active in order to keep a check on all the other genes that's all about mechanism of genetic changes in cancer thanks for watching for making this video and learning purpose i referred to two textbooks one pathology of basis of disease that is by robbins which is a very popular pathology book and another 
uh, textbook of pathology by dr harsh moon these two books are must have for medical student you can buy these books online at flipkart and amazon by clicking the links given below in the description in case you don't like them you can always return them happy learning